We are from a project called We Be Kids and we've been working with woodlands to make some short films to teach you different things that you could do while you're out in the woods. And today we are going to be showing you how to make some fabulous woodcraft mushrooms. So to make a woodland mushroom around this size you're going to need some tools. Here we have our bow saw, an axe, crafting whittling knife, fixed blade knife, pruning saw and we have some sandpaper should you choose you'd like to have that. We also are going to need a piece of wood. Aim for something that's nice and straight, approximately the length of your arm and today we're going to be using rowan. The first thing to do is to decide on how you would like your mushroom to look. Some people like a really long stem and a small cap and some would like it the other way around. For this one I want to do a relatively small cap and a long stem. Once we've selected the size of the cap we're going to make a mark where the cap ends. We're then going to take our bow saw and we're going to cut to the depth of the blade. Once the blade is totally in the wood, we're going to turn the wood and continue the cut. And we're going to do this all the way around. So the first cut meets up with the last. Using a fixed blade knife and a mallet, we're going to now expose the stem and the main body. We're going to take our mallet and we're gently going to tap this all the way through. But I'm going to turn and take another slice off in exactly the same way. And as we can see here this is where we made the cuts at the beginning so as we shave off it's just going to give us the depth of that cut. So as you can see, there's still a lot of work to do on this one to get it to this point. So we just continue with that same technique, chipping away until the stem gets thinner. We're going to work with the top half of the cap to put a point onto the end. What's great about it at this point is the stem works as a really lovely handle. So we're going to tilt the mushroom back. And we're going to aim for about the centre point here. We're going to do three chips and then a strike. So once we've worked on the top half, we begin to see this shape all the way around. We're then going to start working from the edge and putting in an angle to try and bring that to an exact point. It's important when we're using the axe that we always use a straight down motion so we're not cutting in, we're actually tilting the item and chopping straight down through it. So at this point we start to get really close to the edge and it can become a little bit dangerous using the, the axe this close to our hand. So we're going to switch from the axe to the carving knife. We're going to hold the knife in a fist grip and I'm going to hold the mushroom by the stem and I'm going to work away from my body. For the bigger sections I'm using the butt of the blade if I want to do any smaller sections, I'm just going to use a push stroke using my thumb and the tip of the blade. So as the cap begins to take shape, you may find that you want to go back and work more on the stem. If you do that, just switch it over and use the same technique that we used for the cap. So that is how we make 
these wonderful woodcraft mushrooms. Now, once you get confident with this technique, you can start playing with it a little bit more. We've made some others that we've made as a nice table dressing and also some bigger ones that can go in the garden too. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you enjoy making your own.